when I was 14 years old, somebody said, Dave, you will not matter. It's okay. You're always going to be a janitor. Don't worry, buddy. And I spent my whole life disproving this person. I'm reminded of a wonderful story. It's a story of an American tourist who goes to visit India. And obviously he's going to go visit Jaipur in the middle of Rajasthan. And uh, he's going to go see the Pink City. And if you have ever been to Pink City, you will always notice that there are a lot of monkeys there. My God, there are so many monkeys. You also get these people who put on this show with the monkeys. These guys are called Madaris. They're Madaris. And they put on a show where they dress up one monkey as a boy and the other monkey as a girl. And then they put on lipstick and makeup and, and a dress on this monkey. And, and they pretend as a boy and a girl have fallen in love. And then they have a fight. They have a marriage. And then the girl gets mad and she goes off to her father's house again. And the boy goes chasing her again. So it's just a nice little show. They just do it for basically alms from people, people who throw coins at them after the show is done. After the show was done, the American tourist goes up to Madari and says, Madari, how did you catch these monkeys? I've seen so many monkeys. I've been trying to pet one for a long time. And they run off so fast and they can climb trees and walls and roofs. How do you catch it? He goes, very simply. He goes, we use monkeys' nature against him. He goes, please explain, the American tourist said. He goes, whenever we know that there are monkeys in some trees and they're living there, what do we do? We pack our lunch for the day. We pack our lunch for the day and we have this clay vase made up. It's like a flask. It has a long neck and at the bottom there is a round part, basically. And, and it's basically quite long, about a foot, foot and a half long. And they said, what do we do with it? He goes, once we realize where the monkeys are and which trees that they're inhabiting, we go there and what do we do? We dig a little hole. We dig a little hole and we bury the flask neck deep. So the flask, the only thing that's available is just the top rim. And then what we do is we throw some nuts inside the bottom part. We just leave it there. That's what we do. And once we know that it is fu fully entrenched, we walk away. We walk away and we go into other trees. We have a nice siesta, we fall asleep. Monkeys by very nature are very, very curious. So while these guys were digging this hole and putting that thing there, monkeys are sitting on a tree at a safe distance. But once they realize that all these guys have gone too far away and they're no danger, Sooner or later, they come down. They come down, and what do they look inside? What have they done? They look inside, they see these nuts and grains that they would love to eat. And what do they do? They put their hand in there. The arm goes in, arm goes in, and once they go down, then they make a fist of all the nuts. And once they make the fist, the fist does not come out. They have to let go of the nuts for the hand to come back out again. The hand gets stuck in there and somehow they can't let go. They cannot let go. They're just holding on to it. Once these guys who are sitting far away under the trees and they realize, oh, he has made a fist now. Then they leisurely walk over, leisurely walk over. They bring a big shawl. While they're coming over, this monkey knows they're trying to come to get me, but he can't let go of his fist. The logic says that he should be able to let go of his fist and escape, but no, he's holding on for his dear life. And with it, he loses his freedom. These guys come over, they put the shawl on top of him. He is still not letting go of it. They eventually have to dig that earthen uh, flask out and they have to break it to free his arm. But the monkey has been caught. This is a beautiful story. And the question is, monkey is very, very close to human nature. 
they are our closest human relatives to us in animal world. This we humans also do. We don't do it for, for nuts, but we hold on to our past. Somebody said something many, many years ago, you're still holding on to it. Somebody, I can tell you it mattered to me. When I was 14 years old, somebody said, Dave, you will not matter. Hey, it's okay, you're always going to be a janitor. Don't worry, buddy. And I spent my whole life disproving this person. His few words rattled in me. So the question is, what are we holding on to? Are we holding on to our ego? And this is not allowing us to fly. Our nature is to fly, yet we are holding on to things, past, these things that don't even matter. Let go, relax. Sky is your limit. Let go, let go.